welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming one of my favorite videos to film of like all time. I love filming will I buy it videos and oh my gosh this video, this episode is going to be extra juicy because there's so many good new makeup launches you guys, I swear to god. So I need to probably just go ahead and uh, announce this, uh, my no buy. My no buy is about to go down the freaking toilet because there's too many good things and I didn't see it coming and I'm sorry if you're going to be disappointed. It wasn't a complete fail. I definitely made it like a good three weeks without buying anything. I did buy the Juno and Co sponges um, when I was on my no buy and my husband's like that's makeup and I'm like well they're sponges it's not really makeup and I totally bought those because I saw Gabriel talk Gabriel Gab Gabriel Zamora talking about them in his like drama video that he made about Tati and I was like wait you can buy those on Amazon and I was like fuck yeah I'll buy it it's actually okay I have I tried one out um, I should show you guys I tried one out um, and I still prefer the Beauty Blender. I like the texture of the Beauty Blender a little bit better. It's softer than the Juno & Co sponges. Um, so there's my little review. But the Juno & Co is definitely like more, um, what is it, like um, more of a, it's a good deal because you get like six sponges for like 18 bucks. So, so many things to consider. But yeah, my, my no buy is down the toilet. So I, I hope you guys don't, get mad at me but at least I tried it and I'll definitely do it again I'm definitely more open to doing it again um I just know myself and I know I'm not going to be able to resist like what all these palettes let's just talk about them really quick so um the new first thing let's talk about the new Anastasia Beverly Hills palette that's coming out so um it's a collab which is exciting I don't think they've done a collab in a really long time as far as eyeshadow palettes go I have a I used to collect Anastasia palettes. I still kind of do, but I did declutter a bunch of the older ones I had. So I used to have their Tamana palette. They collabed with a bunch of other people. Oh, Makeup by Mario. I can't remember. I think Makeup by Mario was their last collab. So it's exciting that they're doing a collab with Alyssa Edwards. I don't really know too much about her. I don't watch RuPaul's um, Drag Race. Is that, is that what it's called? The show? Um, but I think this is really cool. Manny kind of tried to do it with the Life's a Drag, but I think this is a little more authentic feeling for me because, you know, um, she is a drag queen, <laughs> like, seems like a professional drag queen, so I think that's pretty cool, seems very authentic. I like the idea of this palette so, so much. I might still buy it, I just don't know if I'll buy it, like, right away when it comes out. I feel like I've done that so many times with ABH palettes and I wish I had just waited so I could just get it from Sephora. ABH is really good about returns. Just so you guys know, I've never had a problem with them either. Um, so that's not something I'm worried about. I just don't want to buy it like right away. So we'll see how I do. And it'll be nice to get like Ulta points or Sephora points. So we'll see. But I like the idea. I feel like I'm going to end up with this palette eventually. I just don't think I'll buy it right away. Um, does it remind me of other palettes? Of course. I don't think it's like a brand brand new concept. I know I've heard a lot of people comparing it to the, the Riviera palette, which I can kind of see. But I mean, that's just like eyeshadow, right? It's like nobody's done anything new in like a hundred years so it's fine and this one comes out on May 29th at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on the Anastasia Beverly Hills website and then it'll be available June 6th internationally and in stores. So the next thing I want to talk about is another amazing palette that was announced and then launched on May 24th. This is the Oceanic palette by Ace Beauté and it is $38.99. So this one I kind of want as well. It reminds me so much of the Certify Affinity 2 palette that I'm like, Karen, are you just gonna like add this to your collection and it's just gonna sit there? But it also looks fun and I kind of want to give Ace Beauté another try. I did buy their Paradise collection and I was not a fan of the formula. I did a swatch party video on it and then you guys like probably never heard me talk about it again because I just didn't love the formula. I do want to try and use them in my spare time. 
and really decide if I want to hold on to them and de or declutter them. I think I'm going to end up decluttering them for my collection. But I have heard they did come out with a palette called the Flare Palette. And I heard the formula was better on the Flare Palette. So a lot of people have said that they think the Oceanic Palette will also have a good formula. So I'm really, really curious about it. I did do some math and decided like everything I was like on my wish list, like I had about five or six palettes on my wish list and I was like, oh my god, that's like almost $300, which is a little bit insane. Um, so that's why I'm like, okay, I don't really like, from the grand scheme of like everything I want, the Alyssa Edwards is pretty low. This oceanic one is like in the middle because I love like blues and greens, so I like, I'm really curious about it. We'll see how that pans out. Ulta Beauty is going to start carrying the brand The Ordinary. Um, it's a very affordable skincare line. They will have that starting July 1st and then in stores August 5th. Obviously, you guys all know Ulta is like on a crusade um, to have like every brand ever, which I'm totally okay with because I actually have an Ulta store, so it's nice to be able to go in and try stuff, return stuff, all of the above. I have tried a few things from The Ordinary. It's not like my favorite skincare or anything like that. Also, I'm not really good at skincare, so I don't really know what half of this stuff does. Um, people ask me all the time if I like recommend the brand, and I really don't know what to say. I tried their Hyaluronic Acid. I thought it was very gooey, and then I got the one from the brand Good Molecules, and that one was less gooey. <laughs> also another affordable skincare brand. There's like affordable skincare brands popping out of everywhere, so meh, I don't really want to, you know, say anything, but definitely nice to have affordable skincare options because skincare can get so, so expensive. So there is a new color of the Beauty Blender available. This is called... I don't know, it's a lemon yellow, and I'm not gonna lie, Loki, I kind of want it because it's so cute. I haven't seen, well, actually, I have a yellow beauty blender because I got a yellow one in that set they came out with for the holidays, um, but this is so, so cute. How fun. Okay, MAC is coming out with more scented fix, plus they're coming out with watermelon, pineapple, cucumber, white tea, and peony. And it's going to be with SPF 30. These are the travel size fix pluses. So I think one of those like 12 or $13. Now here's the thing with the travel size fix plus. I bought a whole bunch of them when they came out with the scented ones originally when they did like the lavender and the coconut. And then they came out with full size ones. So my theory is if you like these ones, just wait because I have a really strong feeling they'll just come out with the full size ones and then you're going to end up regret that you bought the minis. So take my word for it, just wait for the full size because I don't think the travel size is as good a deal as just getting the full size. Um, and I have, yeah, I have a bunch of minis and I'm like, oh, that was so dumb because then they came out with full size fix plus in like the coconut and the rose and the lilac and stuff like that it was really dumb okay so another huge thing that was announced this past week is a Jaclyn Hill's new cosmetics line she's been talking about this forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and I did watch her reveal video and she talked about how she had some of these lipsticks done like two years ago how blah 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 and this and that and how she sourced all the components and da 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 um I definitely think the packaging is pretty Jaclyn Hill like the silver the sparkles the diamond on top um all of that it's hard to say like I think it could look nice if the component looks expensive and heavy and weighted like she said but if it's like tacky it, it's gonna be like really tacky like that if the packaging's cheap it's gonna look really tacky which whatever you know you don't really buy it for the packaging I love the idea that she did 20 nude shades the only thing with me is like I thought that if anybody could do a nude shade for every skin tone it was gonna be Jaclyn Hill because she loves nudes she's like so well versed in her nude lipsticks I don't love this color selection I still feel like she did a lot of like pinky nudes for like lighter skin tones yeah she threw in like ambition badass hot toddy and maybe like yeah hot toddy for deeper skin tones even me like I don't really love a cool tone lip and there's not a lot of warm tone nudes in here I wish she had done more of a warm uh, nude for people with my skin tone like you guys know I love 
you know shades like this but like even lighter browns like i have all those favorites from um morphe like where is my morphe true story like that's my go-to nude lip i want to show you guys okay hold on is this true story yeah this is true story so this morphe lippy is like my ideal nude it's like a nice I don't even know how to explain it. It's so warm and like beautiful and it's just like my lips but better and neuter and I don't know what to say about it. So good at 10 bucks from Morphe and you guys can use the code Jack Attack to get 10% off. I'm just kidding, but I really love this nude. So I wish she had done more shades like this for people like me and incorporated more nudes for the middle, me like medium tones, tan, girls deep girls like I feel like she didn't really do a very good job of creating a spectrum even if she had done like 50 shades and included everyone I think it would have made more sense but like to me these shades all just look like ugh, like nude AF I would never wear as if I would never wear I wouldn't wear half of these shades so yeah they looked great when she swatched them I can see her wearing them but on me I can't see myself doing it and they are $20 each. She's got a few bundles. They launch May 30th at 9 a.m. at Jacqueline Hill Cosmetics. I won't be buying them but you know I'm happy for her that she came out with something and it's truly her and it's her brand and it's always good to see people succeed so I do like that. The next thing Jeffree Star is teasing Jeffree Star glosses that are vegan and cruelty free. $18. They're called Diamond Juice and will be available May 31st at Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Now I haven't seen any like reveals of that but I'm definitely curious to see what kind of shades he comes out with. My favorite gloss is the Pat McGrath glosses. She has a shade called Flesh 4 I believe. Love that gloss. And then today I'm wearing a ColourPop gloss. It's from their new birthday collection. I never thought I'd be a gloss girl, but I love glosses paired with their ultra blotted lips. So I'm wearing a set from their birthday collection. This is, um, where is it? It's like the watermelony, juicy look. So this is Swing Away, and then this is the gloss called Fresco. And I like it. I like it a lot. So I'm trying to be a gloss girl. I'm getting there slowly but surely. But yeah, I'm excited to see what Jeffree Star comes out with. Kim Kardashian did a wedding collection. Basically, it's inspired by the makeup look that she wore on her wedding day, created by Makeup by Mario. And it is our five-year wedding anniversary. I've been, I don't know why, but I think I like liked Kim Kardashian on Facebook back in the day and so I've been seeing so many posts from her about her anniversary and she's like super excited and all that jazz. I actually have her three big palettes from KKW Beauty and they're not bad. I actually want to do like a series like take a week of whenever I find time and do a look with each of the palettes so you guys can see it. It's definitely not bad quality. I have friends in Sri Lanka that love KKW's eyeshadow palettes, which is why I keep buying them because I see those girls using them and I'm like, oh, that's cute. Like, I should get it, especially if I can get it on sale. I never pay a full price for KKW Beauty, but I'm happy to pick up a palette when I can on sale. So I don't think this is a bad idea at all. I know people are so into doing their own wedding makeup these days. I think it would be so nice if you could just buy this and then you had everything you need to create the perfect wedding makeup look. Like, I think it's a pretty good idea because where can you go and just find a whole set where you get the eyeshadow, you get a highlight, you get a blush, you get a lipstick. Like, it's almost like dummy proof for people that want to do their wedding makeup. So I think it's cool. And yeah, the prices are, you know, eh, not bad. You can get a Volt collection for a hundred bucks, which I think is a decent price. I mean, if you were to do your own wedding makeup, it's definitely going to cost about a hundred bucks, not including like foundation and stuff. So I think it's a good idea. And uh, yeah, I won't buy it, but I, I think... I think it's a good idea. Another thing that made me break my low buy is ColourPop. They came out with that watermelon situation and that was bad enough. Then this last Thursday they, they dropped the Blue Moon palette which is basically like their version of Jeffree Star's Blue Blood palette. 
I want this palette so, so badly. I put it in my cart, I take it out. I put other things in my cart, I take it out. Close the browser, take it out. Put more things in my cart, take it out. Thought I could buy somebody a gift, put more things in the cart, take it out, close the browser. Like I did all kinds of junk. And then I was like, nope. Like I'm not gonna buy it, I'm just gonna wait until next week because it's their last week of their birthday month. And I have a feeling they might do something. And I put in so many things to buy the watermelon palette because I like to use Afterpay. I like to spend $30 to get free shipping. And then somehow I ended up spending like 60 bucks on ColourPop because they had so many cool things. I wanted to try the glitter, like their birthday glitter, which is around here somewhere. I bought one of the Jelly Much. This is the shade Tripping on Skies. So pretty, like so, so pretty. And so, yeah, I was just like, so then I'm like, okay, now this blue moon situation is out and I, again, need to spend $30 so I can get free shipping or $35 so I can use Afterpay and I'm like, I'm not going to do this to myself. I'm not going to keep buying stuff to fill up a cart. So I'm just going to wait, see what they come out with next week or wait for like a free shipping day where I can just buy the blue moon palette and be done with, but I'm not spending more money buying more things that I don't need to get this palette. All of that aside, this palette is so pretty and I really, really want it and I think it's so cute. So yeah, maybe um, I will purchase that in the next few days. So here is something I am beyond excited about. This is this is where I knew like I wasn't going to make it is when Huda Beauty announced these new palettes. They are three stunning neon vibe palettes. So she's got three of them coming out. Um, it's basically like a green, a pink... A neon pink, a neon green, and a neon orange, I think, like a coral situation. They're $29 each, May 30th on Sephora.com. I am so here for it. I am so here for it. I cannot wait. These look so cool. I cannot wait to play with them. I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited. I love the green. I love all of them. I'm definitely going to get all of them. Really excited. Don't know what else to say. I didn't love her original Obsession palettes, like the rainbow one she did, and then she did like a mauve one and a coral one and uh, like a modern renaissance type one. I didn't like the formula of those, but her like gemstone ones I thought were good. And so I'm excited to try these ones because I think they're so cool. Like there's not really any brand in Sephora that you can walk into that has neon palettes. So I'm so stoked to play with those and very, very excited. The next new launch that I'm just like, give it to me, is this new palette by Natasha Denona. So I did tell you guys I'm on a huge Natasha Denona kick. I really like my gold palette. Love the Biba palette. Well, I don't want to say love. I think I like the Biba palette. It's a neutral palette. It was a great buy. I bought it with my Sephora Rewards gift card. And then I bought the Star Palette, which I haven't played with yet during the VIB sale. And now they announced the Sun Rise Palette. And I love this because I think it's a great mix of her Sunset Palette as well as the Lila Palette. And the shimmers look really good. And I just feel like her formula is finally to the point where it's consistent and it's consistently good. So I like this. I like that it's a smaller palette. It's $65 and it'll be available on Sephora on June 3rd. So yeah, I'm going to be, I'm going to, I'm going to need that. So another reason I'm not going to be able to do my no buy because yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get that. Here's something that I don't understand. NARS is coming out with the Wanted palette, like a mini palette. Um, so this is um, a spin-off of their bigger Wanted palette. I had made a joke saying they should call this the Unwanted palette because literally like who asked for this palette? Nobody asked for this palette. It's so bland and it's so boring and there's so many cool things coming out this week that I cannot waste another second <laughs> talking about it. And then I feel like everyone's already dragged Kylie Cosmetics to filth, so I'm not going to go there. I did talk about her in my last Will I Buy video, so no need to worry about that. And then this I thought was kind of cool. Sephora Pro launched three 
face palettes. They are highlighters, blushes, bronzers, and contours in soft and creamy textures, $58 each. And there's eight shades in each palette. They did a light, medium, and a deep. I think this is a really cool idea. I have a Sephora face palette or two. Can't remember. I think I have one. I can't remember. But they're actually pretty good. And I feel like if you are somebody that doesn't have like 800 things, this would be a nice like go-to for you. And I like that they did three different skin tones so that people can take advantage and, you know, not have to conform to one palette. They can pick something that works with their skin tone. Um, they are a little pricey, $58, but I'm pretty sure you get like a ton of product. I, I'm not sure, but I think you do. So... I think I would recommend that for somebody that just wants like one palette to dip into for all of those things. Whereas I have like 800 face products that I dip into when I do my makeup. So okay. Nabla's new palette is out. This is the secret palette and it's beautiful. I've heard so many good things about Nabla. It's, they are definitely a brand I want to try this year. It's just that I don't want to spend the money to buy from an overseas brand right now so I'm gonna wait on it but it's 39.90 euros and I think our friend Angelica did get this in PR so I'm interested to see her thoughts and what she comes out with I remember she like lo loves one of their palettes she didn't love one of their palettes like their palettes get kind of like mixed reviews so again I just don't want to spend my own money right now to test it out um, and even though I initially really like the look of the palette I'm able to say no to it so yeah, interested to see what everyone else has to say about it, actually. Okay, so Tarte came out with a little collab palette to celebrate Pride Month. And this is so cute. I'm actually really excited for Tarte that they did so much color. I think they're like, they're like finding themselves in color and like they're trying. Whereas Too Faced is still doing like the shake your pom-poms and I'm like... Look at Tarte. Like, if Tarte can find yellow, um, maybe Too Faced should find yellow. Um, so hopefully, you know, I still have my hopes up that Too Faced will find some color at some point. But I think Tarte is doing a good job. I'm not going to buy this palette. It is pretty affordable. I think it's like 25 bucks or something. Actually, never say never because if I see it on Sephora, I may buy it. But... I think it's cute and I think it's nice that they're making some color options for people that are fan fan of Tarte eyeshadows. Like, that's awesome. Good for them. So, Anastasia is also coming out with a water-resistant eye primer in a light color base that creates perfect canvas for matte and shimmer shadows. This will be, again, launching the same day as Alyssa Edwards' palette. I think it's smart that they did a eye primer, especially if they're doing a super bright colored palette with Alyssa Edwards. I wish they had done different skin tone options, but you know, whatever, that's fine. Maybe they'll do more eventually. So um, yeah, that's cool. I'm interested to hear people's opinions on that. I have been enjoying, loving this Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Full Coverage Eyeshadow Base. It's like under 10 bucks from Ulta and you get a ton of products, 0.15 fluid ounces and a little bit goes a hell of a long way. So I'm really loving that guy and would recommend that to you guys. You know, primer base that you can get at the drugstore or like Ulta or whatever. And then BH Cosmetics came out with another Zodiac palette. This is the Gemini palette. And you guys know I have a low-key collection of these uh, going. I have four of them. I skipped on Taurus and Gemini so far. The thing is, like, I don't want to pay for shipping, and BH is, like, $40 for free shipping. And I don't want to pay a full price for these palettes, so I'm just, like, holding out. Plus, I'm a little bit confused by this color story, like... I like the yellow, I like that like weird olive drab green, um, but this palette looks a little bit like the Pisces palette. It's not different enough for me to like pay full price and grab it, um, but I do like BH's formula so far. It's not terrible, but I'm not like running to go get it, so there's that. And then Anastasia did launch some products for their summer 2019 collection. So they have their Shimmer Body Oil for $38, which is 1.5 ounces. It has a coconut vanilla scent, which sounds delicious. A mini matte lipstick set and a loose pigment set. I don't think I've talked about this in a Will I Buy video, but it's not anything I want or am I like remotely interested in. So when it's something like I don't feel anything, I don't even remotely try to convince myself to want it. So 
I'm passing on all of that. Lawless Beauty did come out with a highlighter. It looks beautiful in this photo. It's like a, it almost looks like a darker coppery shade. Um, it's probably not. I'm guessing it's more of a, like a mid-tone, um, you know, universal kind of shade. 38 bucks is like the price of a Becca highlighter. So that's definitely on the high end. I have bought so many shiny things recently. I definitely don't need it, but I think it looks cool. And I know People are really into Lawless, um, especially like Samantha March. <laughs> Samantha March is really into Lawless. She's actually the only one I really hear talking about the brand, so sh maybe she'll get it in PR or she'll buy it herself and we'll hear more about it. Huda's coming out with more things. She's coming out with new shades of her uh, Power Bullets. I love the packaging of these guys. I think they're so cool. I love that she's adding more lip lipstick shades because why not? I honestly know she's like a controversial person but as a like a person of color with her being Middle Eastern I still support her brand because she does a lot for people with my skin tone so I'm gonna keep shopping from her and even though I have no reason to buy a matte lipstick I think it's cool that she's creating variety in her line for women of color. I think that's really cool. And those will launch on May 27th. Okay, and then Juvia's Place did launch their concealers and foundations. Here's another reason my no buy was like tested. And I definitely did buy a concealer and two foundation shades because I was having a hard time figuring out my foundation shade with Juvia's. But... I'm so curious about this foundation line, you guys. They have 42 shades, four different undertones, $20 each. You get a 30 mil, is that a full ounce? I'm not sure. Full coverage foundation that melts into your skin while giving a radiant and velvety matte finish. Made in Italy, top of the line ingredients. I am so pumped to try. And then they're doing 24 concealers, $14 each, 10 ml each. And there's um, six different shades variations there as well. I'm excited. I'm so excited for Juvia's Place to expand. I was honestly like low-key confused because I know they start, they do the thing where they list the darkest shades first and it almost is like you, your brain kind of short circuits as like a person that's in the middle of the spectrum where you're like, wait, this is like so confusing to read backwards. Like that's how socially programmed we are to see the light shades first, which I think it's so great that they're doing that to like mess with, not mess with people, but kind of like make people think like, why is it the way it is? Like, why is it always light to dark? So that's interesting, right? Because that's literally how pretty much like ombres are usually light to dark. Like, I don't know. It's, it makes you like think about like why things are the way they are. So it was definitely a mind game to try and figure out the shades. And I couldn't really find a whole lot of videos or swatches of people with like a medium skin tone um, with the foundation. So I wish they had like done more PR or sent out more PR because I found Nikki Tutorials video and then like a really, really deep skin tone video. So they didn't have any of the shades that were like would have probably liked to see swatches of and it was so hard to see swatches just like on Instagram so that would be like my one feedback to Juvia's Place is like it would be really cool if they could have sent out more PR or like something <laughs> something so people could see swatches on different skin tones because it was really hard to pick a color so my fingers are crossed hoping I did okay and didn't just spend like 50 bucks on the wrong shades. Uh, <laughs> so Too Faced launched this collection, their summer collection. I low-key love the ice cream theme. I'm not gonna buy it because I don't need another highlighting palette, but I think it's really, really cute. And I love these like little duos they do with the blush duos. They're called like Fruit Cocktails, 30 bucks. They're like shimmery and cute. And like if I hadn't just bought those Cover FX ones, I would maybe consider buying that peach and gold one. I think that's so, so cute, but I don't need it, so I'm not going to buy it, but I think it's really, really cool. What else did I want to talk about? There's so many new releases. Um, Shane and Jeffree Star sneak peek their collab. 
I literally have no interest in that situation, to be honest. Oh yeah, I was joking about this, the Shaker Pom Poms palette the Too Faced is coming out with. It is a on-the-fly palette, rich neutrals and matte shimmer and pearl finishes. Smells like a peach and cream vacation dream for $25. I love the packaging. These shades are so uninspiring. I can't imagine getting those shades on my lids. They just look so, so boring. Like, I wish they had done a yellow would be nice. Too Faced, like, can we have a yellow? I mean, I'm just saying. Uh, Melt Cosmetics is now available at Sephora. This one was tough too, because I definitely saw this being announced when I was on my no buy, and I was like, ooh, bitch, I want that Gemini palette. But now that there's so many new things coming out, I'm like, I don't really want to go back and buy the Gemini palette. Plus, I have that Kaleidos um, palette, the Cyber one the green one where is it it's in here somewhere this one i have this one um this is the sci-fi green and i actually saw melissa gold compare this to her gemini palette and i think if i was paying attention she actually liked the shimmers in this one better and i like the quality of these ones so so much i have the melt smoke session palette and it the formula is in such a um, what's the word? Vulnerable, like, packaging and stuff. So, I'm so happy to not buy the Gemini palette. But I do like those blushes they have, like the blush highlights. Um, those look really nice. I know Angelica talks about them, and I low-key want those. But again, I'll probably wait for a sale or something from Sephora before I buy that. Another thing that really tempted my no-buy was this Natasha Denona, the Bloom Blush and Highlighting Palette. I might still get this, but I don't want it as bad as I first did. Personally, because it has like a cream highlighter, which I think would be kind of annoying. That one corner shade Glow Impact Powder looks beautiful. Kind of giving me like ABH Amreezy vibes. So that's beautiful. I've seen quite a few people review it, but I'm just going to be a holdout and pass on it. I also did pick up a few things from the MAC Aladdin collection. You guys will see it in this get ready with me um, when I do this look for you guys so stay tuned for that video but I'm wearing the highlight as well as the bronzer and definitely tan girl approved so I like that makeup revolution did two collab palettes with a youtuber instagrammer named Rachel Leary these are pretty affordable $20 for the big one $15 for the small one definitely like attractive in the packaging that blue really teal color sucks me in but i don't love makeup revolutions eyeshadow formula so i'm not even gonna go there this bh cosmetics brush set is so cute they did like a launch with these like rainbow brushes and some pigments for the take me back to brazil palette i actually own that palette but i've never used it on my eyes i'm contemplating just doing a giveaway with it but i because i really don't see myself using that palette and i've heard like mixed reviews on it so i don't really want to like use it and then not be able to give it away but this brush set is stunning. I just don't know. It doesn't look like it's going to be like really high quality. So I'm just going to wait on it. But I do love the colors. And then I did talk about the ColourPop Maid Squeeze birthday collection. They did this whole like melon situation with lipsticks and eyeshadows and things like that. So... I did pick up some of those products, and you will see those in upcoming videos. Urban Decay is coming out with a heavy metal glitter collection. I am so excited for this because they are doing a glitter eyeliner in a green shade, which I am so pumped about. And that green eyeliner looks really fun too, so I definitely have my eye on the two of those products, and I'll probably pick them up either when they launch right away or I'll just wait until they come to Sephora or Ulta, wherever I can grab them. I think they look so delicious. Okay, Jue is coming out with their summer collection. This launches on May 31st. I love the last four shades in this palette, but the neutral shades look very, very neutral. So I know this palette is not for me. I love their blush bouquet that they're doing for $30. It's more shimmery which I think is beautiful. I can totally see myself wearing that one shade on the left, but again, I think it may be too light for me. 
I might consider picking that up on Sephora sometime if it does launch. But I think this is a really cute summer collection. The palette, the Tan Lines palette is $34. Lip glosses are $17, so nothing too crazy. And I'm excited to see my friends review that palette. I won't be buying it, but I'm sure... People I know will be buying that online. Black Moon is coming out with their Black Metal Volume 1 eyeshadow palette. I believe it's out now. Uh, this palette is so not my vibes. I don't get that big pink looking thing in the middle of the palette. It's a very like jewel toned and deep so it'll be interesting to see other people talk about it but definitely not something I'm interested in. Luxie is coming out with some new shades on 531 at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. 15 new shades. It looks like they're going to be like some shimmer shades. Um, they've been teasing about them for a while. I'm sure all my friends that are huge Luxie fans will definitely be on top of that. I'm so excited because the brand Amy Hearts Beauty, which was the first brand to ever send me PR, is coming out with a summer collection. I'm so pumped. They're turning one, and I don't know if I'm going to get this in PR, but if I don't, I'm totally picking up the eyeshadow palette. It's coming out on June 14th at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and the palette is called My Beach is Better. So, so cute. I'm so into the palette, and I hope she threw in some of those duochromes that work so well, um, especially from her other palette, uh, the Ga Galactic palette, I think it's called. I'm still going to do a video on that palette. I'm so sorry. I'm so behind on that, um, but oh my god, I'm so excited for her new palette. So definitely check them out, you guys. Support small indie brands. So fun. She is a female and a person of color, so what a great cause. To support and then Lethal Cosmetics came out with this new bundle called the Awakening Collection. Four mattes, two duochromes, two metallic eyeshadows. They launch on May 18th. So so cute. I have two palettes from Lethal Cosmetics. They're a German um, indie brand and these shades are so cute but I just again I don't want to spend money on eyeshadow palettes right now so I'm just gonna wait but I I'm gonna I'm admiring them from a distance because I do think they're oh so beautiful blush tribe is coming out with two palettes as well they are doing like a is it called the Lila palette yeah Li Lila palette which is supposed to be the replacement of their bloom Okay guys, sorry if my camera position looks weird. My battery died on my camera, but I was talking about the Lila palette from Blush Tribe that's available for pre-order. That one is replacing their old Blossom palette or something like that. I actually have the Blossom palette. I never used it on my channel. So now I feel like I'm just gonna probably sell it on Poshmark unless you guys are interested in seeing me try it I don't know and then they're also doing pre-orders for their pastel tribe palette which I think is okay looking it's not really like making me crazy and I already bought some stuff from certify um this while ago so I think I'm good on blush tribe and certify currently and then the other thing I want to talk about is these beautiful shadows that Davina is coming out with it's called the Galaxy Dust Shifter Collection that's dropping on June 2nd. And then they're also doing like something called like the Willy Wonka Collection or something. Uh, what is it called? Uh, dropping June Exploders, a handful of sweet, delicious. Oh, Willy Wonka Exploders. Super cute. Look at all these fun colors. They're beautiful. I'm honestly, guys, on like a little single eyeshadow, like, break right now. I have so many single eyeshadow palettes and I want to show them to you guys and review them for you guys. So I'm just going to wait, but I think it looks really cool. So if you're interested in that, definitely take a look and see. And then I saw that, what else did I see? Touch of Glam has some beautiful mega dimensional shades. Um, they're available as singles or you can get three of them as a bundle. Looks really cool if you're into that duochrome, multi-chrome situation. And then the last thing, I can't remember who, was it Angelica that was talking about these in her Will I Buy It video last weekend? And I was like, those look so fun! And these are from Milk Makeup and they are glow oils. 
and I totally want these. They're so, so cute. I've been on a milk makeup kick lately because I bought this little set from the VIB sale and I love their little blush in the shade Work and the little highlighter stick. So these are like right up my alley and I think they're gonna be so fun for the summer, even for like a no makeup makeup day. You can just throw them on your cheeks and you're good to go or that's what I envision. So I'm definitely planning on picking some of those up. So that is everything I wanted to talk to you guys about in this Will I Buy It video. I know it's gonna be like 100 hours long. I'm so sorry if uh, you're bored. <laughs> if you made it to the end, thank you so much. I love you guys so, so much. I really hope you guys aren't too disappointed in me for ending my no buy early. Honestly, I didn't even think I would last like a week, so I'm pretty proud of myself. Um, but yeah, those Huda palettes, I mean, I was like, no to the Blue Moon, no to the Watermelon palette, no to the Oceanic palette, no to the Sunrise palette, and then I saw the freaking neon palettes from Huda, and I was like, fuck my no buy, <laughs> like, I'm out. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely gonna buy those. <laughs> neon palettes and I'm still gonna buy the Juicy Olive palette by Give Me Glow and maybe I'll start my no, back, no buy back up after I buy those. Maybe um, I'll be motivated to go back to you know, trying out what I have and reviewing them for you guys and stuff like that. But anyway, let me know your thoughts down below on these new makeup releases. Let me know if you are on a no-buy. Is your no-buy going strong? Are you being tested? Are you praying to all the gods um, that you're gonna survive this next week? And what else do I wanna know from you guys? Just leave me a comment, tell me hello. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching my channel. I love reading your comments and I will see you in my next one soon. Bye guys.